Hey guys, we're here for the DeWalt Tools Cup Series Chase Race Number Six here at Talladega. This is going to be different from the first race when we were here. We had a big, massive wreck on lap one. We're going to have guys trying trying to do the two car tangle, and it depends on how you do it. Oh, sorry for the lag. We got a lot of lag here today, and um. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be lagging. It's really gonna be lagging. Oh man, it's lagging pretty bad. Oh man, it is lagging. Man, it's lagging. Um, the good thing is the caution is not out. Oh man, this thing is lagging real bad. Oh man. Uh, but um, there goes Andre Castro in the middle and uh. He's he's been primed for another chase run, and he's looking pretty good. And we got look at Trent Dunham all the way up on the racetrack, and there's Jack Richards. Jack Richards is another one of these guys looking for a prime run today. Oh, look at Tom Hunters. Tom Hunters goes up the racetrack. Tom Hunters is gonna let Jack Richards get to the bottom of him. Look at Danny Wells. Oh, we got a wreck. Oh, and a caution. Oh, Danny Wells, big one. Here we go. Damn, uh, Christian Baker's involved. Oh, my. Oh, Nick Nods. And we got a big one again. Tom Hunter's is involved. He was involved in the first big wreck here back in the spring. Danny Wells is involved. Chris Summers. Corey O'Malley. Oh, God. Dio Stigo. Oh my god, so many chase contenders. Justin Acosta. Jack Richards. Got a piece. Tom Haunters. Ken Johnson. Uh, let's take a look at this, man. This this is huge. Hold on. This is this is real huge, man. I ain't never seen a rack like this. Hold on. Ken Johnson was at the back of this pack, and I believe Den Trent Dunham missed this. Oh, no, 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 no. Trent Dunham got a piece of that. Uh, Alexander Dawson got a piece of it. Christian Baker. Oh, look at Dylan Poteet missed that. And Jeremy Britt, I believe he got a piece of that as well. Oh, yeah, he did. Jeremy Britt got a piece. That's going to hurt him in the chase as well. Uh, I be, it it looked like Dunlap, I mean, not Dunlap, Brad. It looked like Corey O'Malley started this. And, oh, there's Trent Dunham. Oh, he's going to be done. Oh, no. And this is what Trent Dunham did not want today. He was way up at the front of the pack. And this is something he did not want to happen. He was doing pretty good today. And Chris Summers as well got a piece of that. And then, there you go. He And then, then Tom Haunters. Oh, man, and then Jack Richards got a piece of it. And then, oh, Trent Dunham is going to go in the wall again. We're going to ride on board with Trent Dunham. Hold on. There was something else that happened, but we're not going to take a look at that. That Something else happened in the back of the pack, but this is, this is where the prime action happened. It was right about fifth spot where this happened. Riding on board with Trent Dunham. Corey O'Malley pretty much started all this. Then Tom Haunters. Tom Haunters couldn't get off of uh, Trent, uh, Jack Richards. And then top guys and points are involved in this. Jack Richards and Trent Dunham, the points leader, involved. And there's Tim Fraley getting by all this. He won here last, last time we were here. There's Justin Acosta. There's Ace Peterson getting involved. Both the Red Bull cars were involved in this. Watch Ace Peterson. All right. Oh, how do? Oh my goodness. How do you get through that? Let's go with Jack Richards. Jack Richards was a part of this, as well. Jack Richards, another bad finish for Jack Richards coming up. It looks like. Let's look at Jack Richards' point of view through this. I mean, we're not gonna look through his car, but watch this. 
I mean, the four, the the, oh, and then the ninety two just bounced off the wall, and that's what, and that's what really hurt Trent Dunham. He was almost almost fully through that, and then that's what caught him up. Mostly caught him up in it, and then there goes the eighty eight involved. There goes the forty two was involved. Uh, 92 was involved, if you guys didn't notice. Um, Chris Summers was involved. I'll watch Chris Summers here. Chris Summers got... The 14 just came up right into Chris Summers. Corey O'Malley, and then the 88, the 22 got a piece of that. And the 14 is the 42 getting a piece. About 10 to 12 cars is the 39 getting a piece. There's Chris Summers crossing the finish line. It's Corey O'Malley. He started this. What the hell happened to Corey O'Malley to get him out in the grass? He was all the way. He was. He was all the way in the grass. The 46 slid him in the grass. Watch Corey O'Malley. Corey O'Malley is running through the freaking grass like an idiot, and he's gonna be. He's gonna be suspended for this. He just took out. So many chasers, the 92, the 22's in the wall, the 42's in the wall, the 26 of, oh, the 39's involved, the, the 4 of Christian Baker was involved, uh, the double zero, the 39, the, oh, just a big mess, the 27, and there was something in the 44 I seen turning around back there. And there's some there was something with there was something with the thirty nine back here as well. Let's take a look at that. Um take a look at that. Uh, there's something going on back here as well. Oh yeah, right here. There it is. Somebody got in the thirty nine and that's what caused this mess back here. Okay, let's see. Oh yep, yep, somebody got in the thirty nine and oh Ryan Acosta, big damage. Oh, and there was another did oh did Oh man, Dakota Erickson big damage involved in that. And Jeremy Britt missed that. There's there's Dakota Erickson involved. There's Jordan Hetzer, Cam Haas, Cod Cleveland. There's Ryan Acosta getting big damage involved and there's there's two separate wrecks involved coming down to the straightaway and then right there and then twenty nine got up into the wall. Is Jordan Hetzer, Ryan Acosta, and then then you see the wreck up here with the 14, the 42, the 88, the 40, the 33. Trent Dunham was involved. And you see him up there. The 45 was involved. 18 missed it. Oh look! Oh man! Look at look at the 20 of Connor Breton. And then and look at Andre Castro. He made that. He made it through that. Um, and there's Connor Breen on pit road. Connor Breen's on pit road. Tough break for Connor Breen. He had a great race going. Tyler Dega is his track. But tough break for Connor Breen today. He's not going to be getting a win in the, he got a win here in the 4G Get Up and Go series earlier in the week. But he's not going to get a win today in the uh, DeWalt to his Cup series chase race here. So a tough break for him. And, uh, looks like, uh, Okay, so, all right, it looks like we're going back to green with Alex Filter. Alex Filter knows about how being out front. We got he's got a night. He's got one. Of, he's got one of his teammates behind him, uh, the ten of uh, Brandon Parsons. And we're green flag racing here. And uh, here we go with the twelve of Alex. Twelve of Alex Filter getting pushed by one of the best guys you want to get pushed by here. There goes Andre Castro. You want to get pushed by Andre Castro here. Sorry about the lag and. By the way, and there's the two teammates back there. You see the 44. He was involved in the wreck earlier in the race. He's trying to get up there. Trent Dunham's still in the race, which is good for him. He's still in front of the guys he needs to be in front of, except for Andre Castro. And there goes Andre Castro all the way up the racetrack. He's not where he wants to be right now. All the way up there, he's getting a freight train to the back. Oh, we got trouble again. The 77, and he saves it. And the 77 is a prime example of how you need to drive. There's Tim Fralick in a bit of a competition there. He's got he's got one of his Toyota friends behind him, Dougie Shears. 
pushing him. And then they go to four wide. Look at Dylan Poteet up there. He's running pretty good. Last time we were here, he was wrecked on the first lap. And it, and oh, they're going to go. Look at what the hell is Martin Zakala doing? Look at Martin Zakala. Martin Zakala is just bumping the hell out of. Oh, oh, we got caution out. Caution's out on the track. Martin Zakala was bumping the hell out of Andre Kyle. I was wondering. Oh, man. We had another big one. Let's take a look. Another big crash. Oh, boy. Tom Hunters looks like he's done for the day. Uh, oh, man. It was back here in this pack. Trent Dunham looked like he got a piece of that. Uh, oh, yeah. It looked a bit. Oh, Trent Dunham. Yep. Uh, there's Christian Baker. And, yep. Trent. Oh, right there. Tom Hunters. And uh, Trent Dunham. Joe Davis. Another one of those guys. Uh, Ken Johnson. His bad season keeps continuing. Jack Richards is involved. This whole pack of chasers right here. Look at this. Right there, there goes there goes Joe Davis, Jack Richards, uh, Ken Johnson, Tom Haunters, uh, Trent Dunham involved. Oh, there he goes right there. And there's Christian Baker. Uh, Trent Dunham is gonna go up a few positions. It it looked like it looked like the ninety two got together with him and there's Ken Johnson getting involved and Joe Davis, Jack Richards, Christian Baker and the two just rams into the ninety two of Tom Hunters and Christian Baker was also involved again. So, coming to the line was Alex Filter. And uh, we're under caution again. Again here at Talladega. And uh there's been a crazy wild race today. Man, a wild a lot of wild stuff has happened. Uh, Trent Dunham's still in the race, luckily. Joe Davis is retired. Uh, Ken Johnson's out of this one. A lot of lot of cars. Luckily luckily he's still on the he's still he Trent Dunham is still in the race, so is Jack Richards. And Christian Baker's still in the race. Those guys need to stay in the race, but they're still going to lose points. But they need to finish at least to make it look a little bit decent. But it's not going to help them too much. As, uh, we still have a lot of cars out on the racetrack. We got about 26 still on the racetrack. Got a lot. There's Alex Filter. Alex Filter had a chance to win in the spring race. In season two, and there's Chris Dollars, and there's Red Bell. Red Bell always seems to find her way up in the front here at a restricted plate track. Oh, and there she goes. Oh, there she goes, and there she goes. She's about to go three wide. She roughs her way. Here she goes. She's gonna rough her way by by Alex Filter. Look at look at Corbin. Corbin on the bottom of the racetrack. Look at Corbin. Corbin's trying to take the lead, and he will. Corbin in the 44 got collected in that wreck. Oh, 77 is around. This is going to be a big. Oh, oh, 77 is around, and caution is out. Trent Dillon Pote barely missed getting involved in that, and Corbin will lead him down to the caution flag. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Dylan, Dylan Pote almost wrecked again. How did Dylan Poti not wreck that not wreck that eighteen car? He was so close to getting involved in the wreck. Oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. And there's a seventy seven and that's what caused the caution flag to come out. How is this not a big wreck? Let me tell you, oh my goodness, how is that a how did everybody miss him? He was running when the third place when the third place guy wrecks, Brandon Parsons gets into him. And then, then he goes spinning, and then Ace Peterson's going to be the one to hit him right there. And then nobody else hits him. How did nobody else hit him? I don't even know. That's remarkable. He comes down in front of the 10, and I guess the 10 gets a good run on him and gets into him and spins him out. I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be. 
the A team barely missed him, and then the 83 right there gets him, and then he just spins in front of everybody, and nobody else hits him. I'm like, how the hell does that happen? That never happens, man. It usually ends up being a big crash. If you know what happens here at Talladega. And uh we got we got a lot of cars out of this race. Oh, we got we got Theo Stego, Fuel Leak, and Connor Breton on pit road. Connor Breton's been having trouble with his car all day. And Trent Dunham, I believe, is out of the race. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, he's not. He's 23rd. He's moving up with all the cars getting out of this race. He needs a few more to get out of the race to get up in the top 15 where he was early in the race. But, uh, you know, Dylan Swallenberg, tough break for Dylan Swallenberg. He could probably get up, hopefully, to the top 10. But, oh, somebody's off. Oh, somebody's off. The 46 is in trouble. He's on. He's on. He's off. Here we go. Green flag is out, and that means the 44 is going to have to find a new partner because the 46 is in trouble. His teammate. And there we go. Green flag is back out here. And there's Red Bell. This is Red Bell's last chance. There's Tim Freilich making his appearance. He won here in the spring. And I think we got somebody in trouble here. The 46 is still on pit road. It's not a big difference now. Everybody seeming to be cool with each other. There's Chris Summers coming back up. He was looking like he's gonna have a bad day today, and everything ends up pretty good for him. There goes Dylan Swallenberg getting there, and there they are. There goes the lead pack right now. Corbin. Corbin is followed by followed by Red Bell. Here goes Red Bell. Red Bell is right there. Can Red Bell do anything? Here goes Red Bell. Red Bell is getting helped by Dougie Shears. Red Bell is going to take the lead here. But Rick, Dougie Shears is not going to go with her. Here goes Dougie Shears. Dougie Shears. Dougie Shears is going to go with Red Bell. Oh, he's all over Red Bell. What is Dougie Shears going to do? Dougie Shears has to make up his mind soon. Dougie Shears is right there. What is Dougie Shears going to do? Is he going to get him? Is he going to get Red Bell in the corner? Here comes Corbin back on the bottom of Red of Dougie Shears. Corbin does not want this race to go away. Red Bell is leading him in turn three and four. Red Bell has the win in her hands right now. She has to control the line. If she lets Corbin get on the inside, here comes Corbin. Corbin comes back on the inside. Corbin was spun on the first lap, and he's going to take the lead again. What a strong car he has had today. What a how about Corbin. There goes Corbin to the inside. Corbin's going to be followed by Dougie Shears. Dougie Shears is going to be on the bottom. What's, gonna, what's Dougie Shears going to do? Dougie Shears is right there. He's going to have help by Red Bell. Red Bell is right there. Here comes Alex Filter. Alex Filter's there. What is the Dougie Shears has a chance to win this race? What's he gonna do in the corner? Dougie Shears is gonna, just gonna let Corbin take the lead and just run away with it. There goes Corbin. Corbin is in turns three and four. He has a, a straightaway to go. What is he gonna do? Oh, and they got a slow car coming up. Here they go. Corbin. That's not gonna stop him. Corbin is gonna win. Here at Talladega. Oh, man. Oh, and the slow car is going to slow up in front of everybody. Oh, man. What a race to the line. And all these guys are going to slow up, and they're all going to have a decent day today. Look at Tim Fraley. Tim and Pote with a top 10. Oh, my goodness. Chris McLean with a top 10. And Jeremy Britt has came back to finish 12th after being spun early in the race. And look at Chris Alexander Dawson. This is going to help him out in the chase. Cam Haas and Chris Summers rounds out the top 15, luckily to get back up in the top 15. Tough break for Jack Richards. Uh, 
Christian Baker, Trent Dunham, and a lot of other guys. This is probably going to have a lot of other guys probably going to be as Andre Castro may be able to get the points lead after today from Trent Dunham and Andre Castro says karma is a bitch to to um, Trent Dunham because Trent Dunham turned him last week. So, yeah. As there's there's your finishing order. Nice race by Dougie Shears, Ace Peterson, Martin Zakala. Nice chase day for him. And out of the race, Theo Stiegel, Connor Breton, Ken Johnson, Tom Haunters is out of the race. He's definitely going to lose spots in the chase. Uh, Justin Acosta uh, and Ryan Acosta, both the Acosta brothers, out of the race because of big wrecks. Tough break. We will see you guys next week for the short track in the next wild card on the chase. And this was a wild card, all right. Took a lot of drivers out of chase contention right here today. And we will see you next week at the Martinsville Speedway.